Shake a leg! Since when did you become Lord Comstock promises there's nothing to be worried about, but I don't like the smell of things down in Finkton. Not one bit. If trouble rears its ugly head in the form of one cantankerous negress, I've laid in some supplies in the event of a forced evacuation. They're down in what I call my chamber of panic, near the base of my statue. I've set the code to 8371.
I'll hunch you. should have found some with less yellow in the belly. Now they're hiding away from Tin Man invalids in their precious little guard room. If you need to get in there on your shift, the goat is 2847. Daisy really even had a choice. What do you mean? Right about now, I'm planting a pair of scissors in her back to protect a child she was never going to harm. She chose to die for her revolution. What about me? For all the endless worlds, all the infinite possibilities, did I ever even have a choice? Booker thought he did. Look where it got us. Right back where we started. All these infinite universes. And yet we end up just going down the same paths. 
No, I'll take your meaning. My father sold me to settle a marker. Comstock locked me up in a tower. And I sold Sally for what? Revenge to prove a point? And yet, here you are. Settling the debt. And say we find her. The old past their damage to the young. Isn't it too late for her now? Well, I'd say that's up to her to decide. Just as coming back here was up to you. Rapture runs on children. Little girls with gold growing in their bellies. I'm not gonna break any cycle. If I'm lucky, maybe I can dent it. Just a little. Pretty lady has the hair? Deal is deal. Bring it to Suchong. <laughs>